especially in Austin, let's say they got a million dollar house that they paid $30,000 for back right. in the 80s, right? Or maybe they inherited it at $30,000. Well, that $970,000, if they were to sell it, is a gain, and they're right. going to owe taxes at 23.8%. Right. So to be clear, again, I mean, mm-hmm. not for me, but for everyone else. Mm-hmm. So this is all designed to avoid any kind of capital gains tax. Defer. Defer, the, excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's the word we like to use. Defer. Uh, not avoiding, deferring. Understood. Right. Deferring till the future or deferring uh, in perpetuity. If you defer what we do, swap till you drop. Mm-hmm. If you defer it in your entire lifetime and then your kids inherit their property, there was no never any capital gains. They are going to get a step up in basis and right. you don't ever have to pay the capital gains. Good to know.